At the age of 21, Eric Faisenglut established Downtown Stereo Centre. Three years later, he entered into a partnership with Bill Belton to further the business. Importing and selling audio, video and televisions, Eric had a real ability to negotiate bulk deals and built the business into a sizable operation. In 1984, Eric and Bill decided to go their separate ways. Eric continued to grow the store and by the age of 30, he was in a position to purchase Bond & Bond. Ten years later, the now well-known Bond & Bond had grown to be a retail leader in Auckland and in 1990, Eric sold it onto the Pacific Retail Group. After this time, Eric became active in property investment on the North Shore and in Queenstown and is still active in this area today. Fast forward to 1995 and the Golf Warehouse started from very humble beginnings when a standalone driving range located in Takapuna was purchased. 20 years later, the business has grown to become New Zealand's largest and most trusted golf retail company in the industry with 10 stores and three driving ranges across the country. The key to this continued growth is once again applying the unique formula of purchasing products in volume like a big box retailer, yet providing personal, professional and qualified assistance. While Eric's business continues to grow, his philanthropic work, while relatively private, is extensive. Supporting over 100 charities, including the Starship Hospital Foundation, North Shore Hospice, the Peter Jackson World War I Museum, Sensible Sentencing Trust, and the First Tee, Eric also likes to host golf tournaments involving dignitaries and other celebrities who attend, raising significant amounts of money for his chosen charities. Eric and Sue are substantial contributors to victims of crime. They sponsor the Sophie Elliott Foundation and were major contributors to the book Sophie's Story. In 2013, Eric became a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit for services to business, golf and the community in the Queen's Birthday Honours List and tonight is a very worthy inductee to the North Harbour Business Hall of Fame. Eric is highly competitive, so I think he's motivated by the fact that he wants to be the best at whatever he does. That includes putting, by the way, where he is an incredibly good uh, putter. I've never met anybody that's as competitive as what Eric is, and he, he, likes to, he likes to be number one. I wouldn't want to be a competitor of Eric's. He'd be a tough competitor. He's an energetic and motivated person who likes to win. I've been in retail for 40 years and I've enjoyed every minute of those 40 years. The ups and downs, it's all been worthwhile. Without doubt he's been an incredibly successful business person, not just uh, with the Golf Warehouse which is you know world class in its own right, but also Bond and Bond Electrical and before that. My parents were prisoners of war in the Japanese concentration camps. They came to New Zealand penniless in the early 50s and they gave me the motivation to work hard. They instilled a real work ethic. I think he gets the most out of making sure that people around him are actually succeeding and uh, you don't meet too many people like that. He gives to an enormous range of charities, many of which people don't really know and he was recognised in the New Year's Honours List a couple of years ago. I think that uh, he definitely cares about the people uh, more than anybody probably knows actually. One of the parts of the business that's been very special for me is the charity we've been able to work alongside. Our business and my previous business has supported hundreds if not thousands of charities. It's been very, very satisfying and, and watching people who've never met benefit from it is a tremendous a good feeling. I met him when I um, started developing a real passion for golf and of course Eric is Mr Golf New Zealand so uh, it was naturally our paths were going to cross and, um, and so I have lots of balls across his range as well. He loves Led Zeppelin. He's a, uh, he's a tortured drummer. He's absolutely terrible at drumming, but he thinks he's fantastic at it. He inspires me to train harder on the tennis court <laughs> to beat him. If you do want to get him to drink, then it's a white Bacardi. It's a half shot with lots of Coke. Uh, and I think you'd have to drink a hell of a... You probably have to bathe in the stuff before you got over the legal limit. Unquestionably, Eric's greatest achievement is getting Sue to marry him. There's just absolutely no doubt about it. Sue is a superstar and um, by far Eric's better half. Uh, without doubt the most important thing to him I think is his family. You know, most people would probably say his business because he's been so successful at that. But um, I can honestly say I've never met someone who speaks so well of his wife when his wife is not there. Sue's a lovely lady, but he is absolutely besotted by her. I couldn't have done anything without her backing me all the way. She's been a fabulous soulmate and um, a great person in the background, just motivated me all the way through. 
he prides himself on not wearing glasses, but actually he should have got them 12 or 15 years ago because his bad line calls at tennis are legendary. So Eric, time you went to the optometrist, mate. My future's governance now. I gave the reins to a younger guy, Reese Bishop, um, who's worked alongside me for 20 years, and I've got to say he's even doing a better job than I did. I also have my two sons now working in the business and um, you know, working as a team. It's just great to be a governor over the whole lot and just watching success. It's actually now more successful than it ever was, so just very rewarding. The three words I think that you'd use to describe uh, Eric are loyal, uh, generous and motivated. Compassionate. I think he's competitive and he's competent. Hard working, it would be caring and it would be competitive. Uh, he's inspired me to be better on the golf course. He, uh, he certainly knows how to get around uh, a golf course and play well. But you know, he's inspired me, I think, to try and live up to the level of generosity that I see in him.